On the asset management side in particular, you're being extra, I would say, understanding of the sponsor's position. Like, hey, we're putting in a lot of work. It's day in, day out. It helps us with recurring fee revenue to pay our payroll. So, yeah, that's an interesting point that you made to kind of understand, hey, I don't want to string this guy up and make him put $2 million, which he doesn't even have, and then not give him any fees. And then, you know, you want to, like our good friend JC Clemens says, he likes to incentivize the sponsor to make a ton of money in the deal because he knows that if the sponsor makes a lot of money, they're going to do just fine. And what I love there is, you know, you basically said it without saying it's meaningful. Meaningful to different people means different things. So the fact that you guys are so flexible with regard to people all over the place in their career point is really nice to hear. And it kind of makes me think that you guys are creative and you're nimble enough to think maybe outside the box to maybe not put someone uh, maybe in too much of a shell or, you know, allow people to find opportunities that, you know, may be a great deal where they kind of stumbled into it where, you know, before, if, oh, well, I need C5 or 6 or kind of rigid requirements to get into the, you know, get into, you know, the joint venture space uh, is really, really cool to see. That's a little bit more unique and maybe outside the box, which is definitely uh, a enhanced me- amenity probably that you get to do with, you know, working at Prolmark. Yeah, and look, it's it's not just because I'm trying to be altruistic and a nice guy. Like it, it's it theoretically should help us long term. I mean, this is a small industry, and it feels like it gets smaller as I continue to age in it. And you know, having that kind of reputation where people go, look, Pearlmark is not going to rip your face off in a negotiation, and you know, Pearlmark is trying to keep everybody aligned. Like that's the reputation we want to establish. We want repeat business. We want people thinking of us as a as a preferred capital provider for their deals. Um, You know, obviously, we think we do add value on the asset management front. And so there are times where we will, you know, uh, scrape some of that fee. But again, it needs to be appropriate. It needs to be aligned with the value that's being delivered. Uh, And at the end of the day, there's multiple ways to 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 carve these things up. And so just being thoughtful about, you know, what makes sense and perhaps areas where, you know, the impact to somebody of that acquisition fee, as you mentioned, may be really, really material, whereas for Pearlmark, it'd be nice, but like we're, we're not going to go out of business in the next six months if we don't collect this you know, acquisition fee, where that may not be the case for some of these sponsors. 